Uh, we, we've lost that and it's got to come back. Um, and I say we just collectively. I just don't, I don't see people having family dinners anymore. I think that's super, super important because um, no matter what, I always tried to be there for that. And it wasn't about me. It was about me connecting with, what did you even do today? Did you learn anything? You know, is there anything of importance in your life? You seem to be struggling. What's going on here? Or, hey, congratulations, big accomplishment. And then the other kids see that, they feed off of it. It's just important as a family. And, you know, now it's like, I talk to friends of mine who just say, oh, we're so busy. You know, we, we go from club event to club event, to club event, you know, game to practice to this, to that. Yeah, it's like, you know, do your kids climb trees? I mean, you know. Yeah. Throw tomatoes, throw rocks or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, yeah. You're, you're talking about the dinner table. Uh, one story we, or one thing we did with our kids is that um, we wanted them at the dinner table and we'd rotate. One would have to carry the conversation for the whole table. So we'd yeah, rotate it. Cool. We'd have uh, Kara do it. And then, and then the next night, Chloe would do it. And they'd struggle, but they would turn and look, hey, Jake, how was your day? Mark, what did you learn today? Yeah. And try to no. carry the, it was, it was so much fun. Because you know they were, cool. they were they were learning how to do that, and then the other thing we did is real early. If they want, they, they, I don't know if your kids would say, "Oh, let's get pizza from Godfather's." I said, and we'd go, "Okay," but you have to order it. You have to call and order it. So, right. we, and then we had pizza. We made them order the pizza. That's awesome. Yeah. So just stuff like that. It was fun. But yeah, it, if you're not around the table, you miss those opportunities. Yeah. And that family time to decompress. Yeah, it's funny we talk about this because this is this is one of our family values at the Prier household is uh, we make time to spend time as a family at dinner time, and one of the things that we do fairly regularly is I've got two young daughters, one's five and one's three, and each one of us will go around the table and say what's one rose for the day and what's one thorn from the day. What was one good? What was one bad? We just go around the table, and it's it sounds. Um, really kind of simple, but at least for me, it's helpful because one, I get a, a download from my family of what was great and what was difficult and we can talk about it. But I found for me uh, as an entrepreneur is that, uh, and as, as a guy, I'm naturally, I just don't want to talk about things that already happened in my day. It happened once, I don't want to rehash it. Despite the, you know, as much as my wife wants to hear what was the worst part of your day? Let me carry it with you. I'm like, I live that. I've processed it. I'm out. I'm done. But it, it uh, doing that routine actually forces me to say, okay, here's what was difficult with my day. It allows my wife now to be able to, to, to shoulder that burden with me, to be able to process it. And then like you said, there's never anything that kind of catches her off guard. Like, wow, this is going bad. I didn't know about that. We've talked about it already. And she, you know we're kind of managing expectations, but that little thing we do with our daughters has is, is worked wonders in keeping communication lines open in our household.